Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, today I wanted to do a kind of a recap of everything uh, since uh, the beginning of 2021. Uh, all of my videos uh, don't have the dry at the end of it. So I thought I would show you guys all the dry ones before I epoxy them. So we're gonna kind of start as far back as I can think. <laughs> I hope I get these in order. If not, no big deal. Okay. So let's see here. Here is the, uh, rainbow nebula. That one actually turned out pretty good. Now once, just so you guys know, uh, for those who are, are new to the channel or are new to painting, once you get epoxy on these things, these colors just pop. They they really do. And especially if you have any kind of a shimmer or a glitter type paint, metallic, all of that, once you put it on there, it is crazy how beautiful the difference. But I just wanted to show you all the dry so you could see. There's that one. And then we have, now, <laughs> if you have watched my videos, <clears throat> at least the, the beginner tutorials, I have mentioned uh, just how important keeping things level uh, is. And, well, I, uh, <laughs> I didn't keep something level. I did this one, uh, before I got all of my shelving in and when we were moving stuff around, I didn't realize, I guess I wasn't thinking that this was still pretty wet, uh, from when I did the video and I put it in a spot that I didn't check the level. I just thought, oh, it'll be okay here. It wasn't okay. So the fabulous, fabulous cells that I had on this painting are now gone. They're totally gone. It slid. You can see right here. It just pulled everything down. And I'll get this in the other camera here. Do a close up for you. So yeah, you can really see what is left of this painting, you know, as its own painting without what it looked like when I got done with it originally. Uh, I, I personally, some people might like it, but I don't like that pulled slid look. I don't, some do, some people do. And if you do like this, let me know. <laughs> it's available, I guess. Uh, but uh, I, I feel so sad that I, I lost all of those cells and it's just not the same painting anymore, which is really unfortunate, but there it is. That is why we make sure everything is level. <clears throat> and we have the Birds of Paradise painting. Did this one fairly early on in the year. It's It didn't slide. <laughs> it stayed good. See if I can get up a little closer here for you. This is dry. I haven't, uh, haven't had a chance to do anything with it. It's just been sitting there so far. Then we have... <clears throat> One of the uh, black and whites that were commissioned, my friend had wanted a black and white and gray abstract. And this is the one, I gave her the one that looked like the sponge. So she already has that. But this one is the original one that I did, the black and white. Get the close up over here. This one, I, I love this one. I'm, I've always been a fan of black and white and silver and gray and all of that wonderful. <laughs> I don't know why. I just always, always have been a fan of black and gray. So there's that one. 
Okay, then we have, oh, I, I haven't finished my dad's paintings yet. I've been waiting for more epoxy to come. It'll, it'll be here any day now. I, I ordered it. It should be on its way. Let's see the first one. Well, one of the first ones I did two of this, basically the same. Here's one of them. This one was a swipe for my father's birthday. If you have not seen that, I will put a link up for you so you can see it ended up being a three-parter because I just loved these colors so much and I got to use my Merlot color which you can see in this one there's a little streak right here of it it's just so pretty and yes I was able to recreate that purple and I'm so happy about that and I also in the process figured out how to make a grape color and I will do a tutorial on that one because it is fantastic I called it Concord grape not really purpley purpley grape color that Concord is you know they associate the Concord with it's that and it's fabulous this is the second so this is the second one that I did for my dad and of course the close-up for you I really enjoyed these colors and I may put them back together again at some point because this isn't a full swipe of mine. One of my normal uh, swipes, usually I'll do this and then I'll keep going. Uh, I'll do more and it creates a lot more depth and layers and length and just more interest in the painting, more spots that are more interesting and, and cells. And it's just, I, I, I like doing that. So there's number two. <clears throat> and then we have the abstract one that I did that goes with those other ones. Doesn't matter which way. <laughs> it's all, all the same. And this one, the colors really shined because I have a lot more white background. You can see the purples and the gold and the cells a lot better. And in the video for this one, if you haven't seen it, I made cells through here. I actually made them with my torch. And if you want to learn how to do that, it is in that video. I will post the link right up in the corner if I can, so you can see that. And last but not least, we have Valentine's Day. I wanted to show you this because I really thought it was just the coolest thing ever. This is where I took the 18 karat gold Krylon paint and just, it's a spray paint, and I sprayed it into my base and I made it really, uh, I made my base really thick because I thought if I do it really deep, it'll, it'll show up differently when it dries. And it turns out it didn't change too much. The only thing that I did notice is I ended up with some funny little, not sure if you can see that, but there's these funny little spots. I don't know if that is from the gold or what happened there uh, it obviously it bothers me but it adds a little texture because they are actually they're they're bumps but this is what happens when you use spray paint into acrylic paint it's kind of cool i like how it turned out i may do some more like this because that was just a lot of fun learn something new all the time and then my anti-valentine's day painting this one turned out amazing as far as i'm concerned i really liked it i picked colors that had nothing to do with valentine's day or each other really there's some weird colors in here like a you know it's a christmas green a shamrock green there's a gold, there's yellow, <laughs> purple, black, obviously. <laughs> Wasn't sure how that was going to work out. But as you can see, it actually...
actually turned out pretty cool. I, it, in my opinion, I don't know. I really like it. It's amazing. It, it took a long time to get this done. The video I actually put on 10 times speed and it still took a while to get through it. I couldn't believe it. It took me about, uh, it took me a little over an hour, a little over an hour to get to get it to this point. And so putting it on 10, uh, 10 times speed, it still took a while <laughs> to get through the whole thing. But there you go. I, I really like this one. I'm, I'm glad I did that. And what I'm going to do in the next, probably next few videos, because I'm clearing, clearing out house a little bit. I have some, some colors that I have never used that I got uh, in the beginning. And I thought that what I would do is something kind of like the, the Valentine's inspired me to pick random colors and put them together. And so if you can see this, well, I'll put it in the other camera, but this big box is full of these little itty bitty, uh, two, they're, um, yeah, two ounce colors. Most of them are like apple barrel, like you'll get at Walmart. And what I want to do is I'm going to blindly pick five colors out of here, mix them up and do a painting. And then I have over here, these are Sargent Art colors. I got the big bottles at the time. I'm going to pick one of these colors as the base color. And then we're just going to play with swipe and everything. I'm going to do my regular kind of hodgepodge technique on it. I'll do swipe. I'll use the hairdryer. I will use my scraper tools and we'll get it probably kind of like the Valentine's Day. So thought that I would give you a heads up on that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that recap and I hope you're having it just a fabulous day. And if this is the first time meeting me here, if this is the first time you being on this channel, welcome. Please feel free to go through everything else. If you're a newbie, check my tutorials. I will be adding more. I'm, I'm adding more all the time as I go through stuff. And I hope that you enjoy it. Like, subscribe, share, you know, all of that stuff. And happy painting.